In this video, we are going to learn about another array method which is the reduce method which is used to reduce an array to a single value by applying a function to each element. Now this reduce method is very powerful and versatile and it can be used for many purposes such as calculating sums, averages, products and more. It can also be used to manipulate objects, arrays and strings and to implement complex logic and algorithms. So let's dive into the reduce method and see how it works and how we can use it in our code. Now this reduce method is another method of the array prototype which means that we can call it on any array and here on our screen you can see the syntax of our array method as you can see the reduce method takes two arguments first one is our callback function and the second one is initial value which is optional then this callback function has four parameters and here the first parameter is the accumulator and the second one is current value and this third is current index and this fourth one is our original array now this accumulator is the value that is returned from the previous invocation of this callback function or it is the initial value if we provide it and this accumulator is used to store the result of applying the callback function to each element in the array and this current value is the current element in the array then this current index is the index of the current element in the array and this array is the array that the reduce method was called on now this callback function can perform any operation on the accumulator and the current value and return a new value for the accumulator the reduce method will then pass this new value as the accumulator for the next element in the array and so on until all elements are processed the final value of the accumulator will be the return value of the reduce method now let's see an example of how to use the reduce method to calculate the sum of an array of numbers so suppose we have an array of numbers like this and we can use our reduce method to add up all the numbers in this array and return the sum now in order to do this we are going to create a variable in which we are going to store the result so const sum is equal to numbers dot reduce now here we are going to use our arrow function now here we are going to write our first parameter which is accumulator and here we also need our current value now here we are going to add our accumulator and our current value so accumulator plus current value like this and after this for our initial value we are going to set it to zero like this after hitting save if we log this sum variable you can see in our console here is the sum of all the numbers that we have in our array now again in this code we pass an arrow function as the callback function and this zero as the initial value then this arrow function has two parameters first one is the accumulator and the second one is current value then this arrow function returns the sum of accumulator and our current value which is the new value of the accumulator then this reduce method will then pass this new value as accumulator for the next element 
in the array and repeat the process until all elements are processed. The final value of 150 is the sum of all the numbers in our array. And here we can also make this initial value. So if we remove this and if we hit save, you can see we have the same result. But it will skip the first iteration where the accumulator is 0 and the current value is 10. Instead, it will start from the second iteration where the accumulator is 10 and the current value is 20. Now this reduce method is not limited to numbers. We can use it to manipulate any type of data such as objects, arrays and strings. For example, we can use the reduce method to count the frequency of each letter in a string. Now in order to do this, we are going to create a string const str is equal to hello world. Now we can use the reduce method to create an object that maps each letter to its frequency in the string. We can write const frequency is equal to str dot split then our double quotes and after this we are going to use our reduce method like this and here our first parameter is the callback function and for our initial value we are going to use an empty object like this now for our callback function first we need our accumulator and our current value which we are going to name cv for current value and here i am using our arrow function if current value not equal to an empty string then if accumulator at position of current value then in this case we are going to do accumulator at position current value plus plus so if the letter already exists in the object we are going to increment its count and else accumulator is equal to 1 and then at last we are going to return accumulator like this now if we log the value of this frequency variable and if I hit save you can see we have an object in which we can see the frequency of each and every word in our string which is this hello world. So in this code we first split the string into an array of characters using our split method. Then after splitting our array we are using our reduce method and in here we pass an arrow function as the callback function and an empty object as the initial value and our arrow function has two parameters first one is accumulator and second one is the current value and this accumulator is the object that we are building and the current value is the current character in the array then this arrow function first checks if the current value is not a space and if so it checks if the current value already exists as a key in the accumulator object and if it does it increments its value by 1 and if it does not it sets its value equal to 1 then at last it returns the updated accumulator object this reduce method will then pause this object as an accumulator for the next element in the array and repeat the process until all elements are processed. The final value of the accumulator will be the object that maps each letter to its frequency in the string. And that's all I want to show you in this video. 
सो इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द रिड्यूस मैथड विच इज़ अ पावरफुल एंड वर्सटाइल मैथड दैट कैन बी यूज टू रिड्यूज एन अरे टू अ सिंगल वैल्यू बाय अप्लाइंग अ फंक्शन टू ईच एलिमेंट वी सा हाउ टू यूज द रिड्यूज मैथड टू परफॉर्म वेरियस ऑपरेशन ऑन नंबर ऑब्जेक्ट्स अरेज एंड स्ट्रिंग्स एंड हाउ टू राइट द कॉल बैक फंक्शन एंड द इनिशियल वैल्यू द रिड्यूज मैथड इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूजफुल मैथड्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड इट कैन हेल्प अस टू राइट कॉन्साइज एंड एलिगेंट कोड आई होप यू इंजॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड लर्न समथिंग न्यू इफ यू डिड प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो